cue <laughs> the Falcon. That is absolutely oh. majestic. Oh, there. Ian Joplin from Last Chance Forever is here, and who just flew in? This is a bay-winged hawk. It's a species you'll find south and west of San Antonio. It's a desert species that's very interesting in the way that it hunts. This is a pack hunter. These birds are sometimes referred to as the wolves of the air because they work together as a pack to capture their prey. So, so what exactly is their strategy? You know, well, they get, the they're air. very fast. They can come out of the sky at 80 miles per, uh, 80 miles per hour. Mm -hmm. But the rabbits, if they turn it the right way, <laughs> they can get away from the hawk. The hawk will shoot past in that dive, and the, hawk has a, the rabbit has a chance. But when there are four of these hawks working together, when that first hawk makes that dive, and that rabbit gets away in the turn, there are three more hawks waiting to take advantage of that decrease in speed when that rabbit makes that turn to capture it. Wow. And then it's so they nail the, the rabbit, and then they all sit down and have dinner. Yeah, it's really amazing. They're a community. Even hawks that didn't participate in the hunt share in the, in the kill and the success of the hunters. And you said uh, a lot of times other bird species, predators like this, even the males and females, they they're on their own when it comes yep. to these to are some eating, of the only right? birds in the world I've heard of that hunt in that way as that pack hunter. Most raptors are very solitary. How old is this guy? This bird's in his teens. They can live up into their maybe 30s. Mm -hmm. In the wild, however, most of them don't make it to adulthood. And that's a lot of the birds that come into our care that we help are young birds that made a mistake learning how to hunt, learning how to fly. So how did this guy come, come to be Well, young? unfortunately, somebody found this bird as a baby and tried to raise him. And it's not that they didn't care, but we have to work very, very hard to keep these birds wild so that we can return them to, back to the wild. That is just, that, he is beautiful. Now, when he's calling out like that, is he just he's saying, just sort of look at me? He's communicating. He's telling you to just sort of keep everyone, keep their distance, keep their space. He's not being mean. You see, I hold my hand up. He's kind of communicating with me there that, hey, don't be touching the feathers, man. He's just nervous because there are wings over there. <laughs> <laughs> you saw what happened to those guys. Jeez. <laughs> may not make it off the set. Ranch or blue cheat? Never mind. Don't, I'm don't sorry. Don't scare. But I'm sorry. <laughs> so okay. This is a bird that hunts things that are on the ground. Right. But there are other raptors that hunt things that fly through the air, and they're known as falcons. Okay. And the size difference is wow. most noticeable. And he is? A merlin. Okay. Yep. He does not have falcon in his name, but he is a falcon. We can tell by the features he has a dark marbled eye. There's a mustache pattern. It has very sharp, pointed wings. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a bird that came into our care that we can't return to the wild because it was injured. One of that, those wings did not open up all the way. Aww. The bone healed, but unfortunately, <sighs> the muscles and the tendons did not. Okay. But this is a bird that captures other birds. You said, oh. and so he hunts a little bit differently, so he's yeah. just chasing them down. It doesn't, like... Yeah, he doesn't go full speed. He's a tail chaser. He goes, keeps pace with his prey, keeping chasing their tail, waiting for that little bird they're after to make a mistake, to slow down, and then it uses a quick sprint to close the distance and capture that prey. Wow, so what kind of birds does he go after? Like yeah. sparrows? Sparrows, small yeah. birds, not anything big. A, a white-winged dove would be too large for this bird. And falcons, like the peregrine falcon, you mm -hmm. said, is the fastest bird yes, ever. Yes, peregrine right? falcon is much larger than this bird and can dive at 242 miles per hour, the fastest living thing. Wow. So these are daytime hunters, mm -hmm. and then you have a night, another nighttime hunter, along with the, yes, the great horned owl, the great horned owl. Had starting off, mm -hmm. which is a big guy. Yes, we have uh, the other end of the spectrum now. It's not the smallest owl that we have in Texas, mm -hmm. but it is a very small owl. Mm -hmm. It's very, very common. It's a bird that you can hear in your neighborhoods if you listen for. Okay. Is what's known as a screech owl. While we're getting that yeah. one out, you have a big event mm -hmm. coming yes, up this weekend. Yes, this Saturday. On uh, the 26th in Comfort, we are doing the Harvest Moon celebration, where we're going to be flying these birds free. We are going to be having lots of demonstrations about the agriculture heritage of the hill country, mm -hmm. as well as our work in rehabilitation and helping these birds, as well as the very special thing at the end of the day, at night, we're going to put our owls out on a trail and after the dark, lead the owls through in a guided path. So this little guy oh, is... Look, the... hello. This is the screech owl. Now, this oh. is a fully grown owl. And look at the difference. I mean, when they're kind of, you know, when you kind of see them side by side, that's a great horned owl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course, we, we saw earlier. This Sometimes is a people owl. think these oh, are a baby great horned owl, but yeah. these both are fully grown owls. This is as big as this bird's going to get. Oh my gosh, you look like a little Muppet. Didn't you look like a little Muppet? Kind of like. <laughs> He's adorable as can be. And now they hunt by sight and also by hearing. Hearing. Right? They have incredible hearing. They can hear in three dimensions. Not only the direction a sound came from, but exactly how far away that sound came from. With such precision, they've put these birds into a football stadium like the Alamo Dome. So when they turned off every light, there wasn't even the stars and the moon. 
And in that big football field, they release a tiny little mouse. And every single time, the owl could capture that mouse with no light whatsoever. That is how good their hearing is. Wow. And That's their their wings, like the ends of it, kind of help with the stealth yes, they mode have, they go into, right? They have specially designed feathers right. on the edges of their wings okay. that has sort of a comb pattern on them. So when these birds flap, they make absolutely no noise. Fascinating. You can learn more about these birds, see them up close at the Harvest Moon Celebration. It's happening this Saturday, the 26th, from noon until 9 at the Mule, Shore, Mule, Mule Shoe far, pardon me, uh, Farm and Ranch in Comfort. There's going to be music activities vendors and, for the first time, a hands-on falconry introduction with limited seats available. There's a lot happening at this event, so for more information, go to our website, click on salive.com, and, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Mm -hmm.